Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome in this session. Uh, my name is uh, Szymon Panecki. I am a microcontroller application engineer. Uh, I'm responsible for supporting customers who use uh, ST microcontrollers, STM32 and STM8. And today I will be glad to present you uh, the material related to STM32 and ultra low power. In terms of STM32, we will focus on L4 family. And in terms of uh, ultra low power features, we will uh, discuss about uh, operating modes and uh, low power peripherals. So uh, this is agenda for our meeting. Uh, it will take uh, 90 minutes. So we will start with a short introduction related to marketing topics. My colleague uh, will be glad to present you uh, information about STM32 L4 family, also about uh, roadmap and some tools related to low power. Uh, then we will have a 17 minute uh, session related to hands-ons and we will use for this purpose a Nucleo L45 RE with extension P. So this is the kit we will use today during the session. And uh, we believe that based on the knowledge which you will get uh, today, you will be able to present how easy it is to uh, get started with STM32 L4, how easy it is to uh, get started with operating modes, especially low power modes, and how easy it is to build a complete backbone of a low power application. So for this purpose, uh, we prepared for you four different hands-ons, different in terms of operating modes and different in terms of uh, peripherals which are used. We will focus only on uh, one hands-on, and this will be the first one. So this will focus on run mode and external SMPS. So I would have a question to you. Can you tell me what SMPS stands for? Exactly, switched mode power supply. So this is a new feature implemented in STM32 L4, a support for external SMPS. And uh, this uh, egg hands-on we will uh, do together today. And uh, I believe that this can be very interesting for you because this SMPS solution allows to reduce significantly uh, current consumption of the microcontroller. And in fact, it doesn't introduce you uh, any serious limitation or uh, drawback. So in fact, you can consider using it for a wide range of applications. And at the end, we will have a short conclusions and questions and answer session. And also we will use this time to fill in the survey. Okay, 